is, it isn't just about responding to allegations of abuse. It's all about. It's also about preventing, uh, neglecting, and abuse, and reducing the services that make people vulnerable to abuse. So that that can be things like um, helping people to feel confident to speak out of their experience and let them know where they can go for help. Making advice and information support such as advocacy available. Um, creating social networks of peer support. Um, ensuring that influencing commissioning to make sure that the commission doesn't result in institutionalised services that are, are, are isolated from society. Uh, all these things can help re reduce the circumstances that make people vulnerable to abuse. And I think that the bill, many, several causes of the bill have potential to um, help in all of them. The general principles refer specifically to um, protecting people from abuse and neglect. So that's quite significant to me because it means that in um, devising a strategy for, commi for commissioning services and joint work with other agencies, the local authority can be held to account for showing that it's considered the impact of those, those, those act those, of how it's discharged those functions on the extent to which people will be protected for and the information advice is specific in, in requiring the local authority to provide information about how to raise concerns about safety and wellbeing and that, that's very welcome. Um, what the CSA and AGK have argued is it calls for also needs to refer to advocacy um, and particularly for people who wish to write one of the things that the Winterbourne View investigation found was that um, a widespread failure to design uh, commission and provide services that give support close to home. Um, I think there were deep concerns with, with Winter or you about it being um, a service that was very isolated from the, the surrounding com uh, community. Um, and that was a factor that, that created, um, that, that, that made, made the risk of, of abuse and neglect particularly high. Um, we would like to see uh, a better definition of what diversity and quality of provision of services means in terms of ensuring services are going to, uh, are going to be safe, um, they're going to be transparent, that in commissioning services, as local authorities make sure that um, people who use those services will have basically access to the outside world, that they won't be, they, they, they won't be um, in, in an institutionalised environment. Is cut off as things refers to the need for cooperation between local authorities and other uh, relevant partners, including in protecting adults with need, needs for care and support services who are experiencing or are at risk of abuse and neglect. And I think it's quite important that that clause refers not only to people who are uh, being abused but to people who are at risk of abuse. So you will want to see. Um, where local authorities are working with other agencies, they will be, have procedures um, to identify um, situations where there is risk of abuse and take steps to see how that, that um, abuse can be reduced or amended to add a clause extending the scope of the Human Rights Act to the bill. Um, at present, um, people, uh, where pe people are in care homes, and they're places that are arranged by the local authority, um, people are, are, covered, are, are covered by the scope of the Human Rights Act. The clause basically extend, seeks to extend the scope of the Human Rights Act to um, people receiving services, whether it's arranged by a local authority or whether they're self-funders, it all regulated um, care providers. Um, that's important really in I think it's, a, it, it's, it's primarily aimed at bringing about a, a cultural change and ensuring that, um, they're, they're, that all care providers have to be aware of the fact that they're, they're providing services that that do impinge on people's human rights. They impinge on, on, on people's right to respect for private family life um, um, and the right for people to be free. To be free. So important at the moment is to introduce a clause on corporate Great. Um, again, this has been mentioned already in, term, in relation to operate, uh, Operation Jasmine. Um, the difficulty of holding um, uh, managers and um, 
so that this providers if um, accountable for abuse. But it was also raised in the Winterview, Winterview inquiry, uh, which noted a widespread, a widespread difficulty in, in holding leadership to account for abuse and neglect. Uh, we strongly support um, an amendment to introduce um, corporate accountability, but basically the way services are managed and organised.